Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video. And today we're going to be reacting to what German prisons do differently. And it'll be a comparison between German prisons and the United States prisons based on reading the description of the video because differently, you know, that means different from something else. Well, different from the United States. And it's interesting that we're reacting to this because I don't know if you guys know what the prison system in the United States are like. We have federal prisons. We have local prisons. There's a bunch of different ones, but there's a constant commentary coming from a, a large portion of the population with how unjust our prison system is, how there are a multitude of different pipelines that lead specific groups towards prison throughout the course of their lives and how it isn't really seen as a rehabilitation course, but rather a disciplinary thing. And people are in prison because they did something bad and they're bad people rather than they did something bad and they can turn their lives around. We, you know, the death penalty is still, I don't know if it's still legal in some states. I'm honestly, I'm pretty sure it is, but it has been legal in many states for a large part of our country's history. So that's a big part of the, our prison system, but I'm not going to talk your guys' heads off about our prison system. I'm excited to learn about what German prisons do differently. What do they do differently? Let's find out because I think prisons say a lot about how a country is run, what they want their citizens to get out of life. Like it's, it says a lot. It speaks volumes. So we're going to find out in this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's get right into it. American prisons are toxic places. <laughs> That's a start. Damn. <laughs> when you walk into them, you are immediately bombarded by the smell, by the noise, by the lack of color on the walls. There is a dearth of life in the eyes of the people who are incarcerated, the people that work in the prisons. There's little grass or trees, very little plant life. This is just what the absence of life and joy can be. So we went to Germany to understand how you can do things differently. They've taken the structures, the architecture around prisons, and they've modified them. Hold on, first of all, before- the Structures, the architecture around- do I see a sun in a prison? Why, why are there happy icons and symbols in prisons? This is not supposed to be there. What the heck? Prisons, and they've modified them and changed the people inside them. They run their prisons based in human dignity and organized around the principle of normalization, that prisons should replicate the outside community as much as possible. They learn should replicate the this looks like multiple classrooms I've been in it's smaller of course you know but the general landscape of a public classroom at least where I went to school this is what it looks like I mean what okay Lucky outside community as much as possible they learn that this job is about relationships and that relational safety is just as important as the security of the building. There's life, you know, people aren't afraid for their safety. We saw young people laying on the courtyard completely comfortable with each other. You would never see that in an American prison. We saw young people hanging out with correctional officers without the fear of surveillance. Young people and correctional officers playing soccer. You walk into someone's room and you can learn so much about them. They've got posters on the wall of their heroes and sheroes and you've got TVs and you've got lighters on the table because they're smoking. And <laughs> it's very, very different. What? One of the things that was so striking was walking through a prison compound and you see trees and... Yo. <laughs> I, I don't want to say this because it's it's... It's not exactly right to say, but I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I'm going to go to Germany and commit some crimes, guys. Because this looks pretty damn nice. 
Uh, but you see how that's messed up to say because people are in that position. And sometimes innocently, which I don't know what the case is with Germany, with your guys' uh, justice system or courts, but there are a lot of people in prison in the United States who did not commit the crimes that they were accused of. Like, they just didn't. It's a fact. I'm sure there has to be some in Germany, right? But, like, th this is, like, an actual thing in the United States. Like, by, when I say a good amount, like, there's a good amount. And then laws are changing, so it's like, what, what does that mean for people who were in prison for that? It's a lot of stuff going on over here. But, wow, German prisons, I got to say. I mean, look at this. We have a foosball table. I mean, look at this. This is like a modern, look at that chair. <laughs> Looks so nice. So nice. That's ridiculous. They're smoking. In a good way. And you see trees and water and swans. It's what human dignity smells like, looks like, what and feels like. And yeah. this was in a maximum security prison in Germany. It tells us you can do this a different way. Oh, yeah. Our experiment with mass incarceration has created a uniquely American phenomenon that has prisons warehousing millions of people far away from their families and communities. It has not worked. It has not made us safer. But we can learn from other countries like Germany where they have systems designed around human dignity that promote restorative justice. That I think it's what another thing I wanted to talk about is how there's like an emphasis on human dignity when it comes to legislation in Germany. I mean, we learned in a past video that it's illegal to deny the Holocaust because the victims of the Holocaust and their ancestors, relatives deserve the human dignity to have that recognized. And I think it's it's not a direct comparison to the prison systems, of course, but it's just that theme of placing human dignity at the forefront as like an utmost priority. Whereas in the United States, do we really give a damn? Like, that's the whole point. It's like, oh, we don't care how someone else feels. Like, oh. And of course, feelings versus dignity, that's a completely different thing. But I feel like that bleeds into, because that's just the culture surrounding that. It definitely bleeds into that. Mind around human dignity that promote restorative justice, that yeah. ensure accountability, and everyone is safer, happier, and healthier. And we can restore the promise of American justice. I'm a bit more cynical than her. I don't think we can. Of course, there's a lot of reasons why we have millions of people in prisons and why our prison systems are so bad. If it doesn't take <laughs> it doesn't take a genius, bro. Just look back a century. Look back a century. If you guys really want to know, I'm not even going to talk about it cuz I already know there's going to be people in the comments who are going to be like, "What? Like this dude?" That's the thing about It is what it is, but I'm just cynical. Like it's not even with just prisons, bro. It's a million different things where if we just looked looked at other countries, we don't even have to look at Europe. We can look at Australia, gun control. And and another thing, though, I want to emphasize, United States is going to be criticized, of course, because we're, you know, looked at as one of the top capitalist countries. There's no denying that. As much as people clown on us and as much as I clown on us, we are, like, at the top of a lot of different economic lists and different things like that, metrics. But... Around the world, there's a lot of really bad prison systems as well. I know if you guys look it up recently, El Salvador, they they just got a lot of, I think it was like uh, gang members, and they have just been pushing them to get, like the pictures are honestly insane. And and it's not even that. There's also some really bad prisons, prisons in South Asia and just all around the world. But again, this is a comparison between Germany and the United States. And I will say, based off this video, it seems as if the, the values and reasons for prison are a lot different than the values and reasons for why we send people to prison. <clears throat> we send people to prison to try and get them in prison and to get them out off the streets and have them stay in prison sometimes. Sometimes to die. 
I would love to react to that. That would be a really interesting video is about the death penalty, if that exists in Germany. Um, and also just like what this video, of course, it's only three minutes long, very surface level. I think we could go into some serious depth in comparison, comparing like, you know, what different laws are, what, how much your, how big your sentence will be if you commit X crime, things of that nature between the United States and Germany. So if anyone has a video on that, I'm going to go look for one after this because that really has piqued my interest. Anyways, guys, I'm, I'm going to digress now. I appreciate you guys for watching this. Does I do talk a lot when we, when it comes to looking at other countries like systems and the way they run things when I think, wow, we really could learn a lot from them. But unfortunately, we don't. We just keep doing the things the way we do them because we're the best country on earth, apparently. So that's just my two cents. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that to some extent, some degree. Just be lucky you have a good prison system. I mean, I don't know the full extent of the German prison system, so I can't exactly call it good yet. But based off my other reactions, I would think that Germany would have a solid prison system set up. So yeah, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.